Welcome everybody, it's Mr B here with our guide to survive the first seven days in the forest. We're on day two of our survival. Now in front of us we've got the seven day survival goals, what we're wanting to do for the first seven days. At the moment, we don't have plenty of food and water. We've got soda and we've got some dried meat, but I wouldn't say we have plenty of it, so we're still to achieve that goal. We don't have the ability to collect and store water just yet. Um, we haven't needed it up till now because we've had the soda and we've been using the uh, loading the game and the, the resources respawning within the plane. So we've been just drinking the sodas for the time being, but we'll have to do that. Resource storage, we have built two cabinets in the plane, so we have achieved that goal. We don't have a good strong defensive settlement yet. It is only the beginning of day two, so we won't have had that yet. We don't really have the ability to defend ourselves and absorb attacks. We've got no armor at the moment and we have only got the plain axe. Now we don't have any armor because we've had no visits from cannibals so we've not been able to get any bones. So that's a good and a bad thing. We've explored a little bit of the surrounding area, not an awful lot. We have some uh, effigies to the left of us and we have in front of us, we have the ocean and uh, further on the yacht. We are prepared to explore the island, but we don't have an awful lot of dried meat. That's what we would need to continue, and we don't really have somewhere to call home yet. Here are our day two survival goals. We want to build a stick bag. That allows us to carry 20 sticks as opposed to 10, as we will be gathering a lot of sticks in the early parts of the game. Being able to carry more than one go is very, very important. Rock holder is very good to be able to hold rocks in large quantities. You tend to need rocks in large quantities at one go. For example, you'll build the wall, so you'll need a lot of rocks at that particular time. But in other parts of the, the, the game while you're playing, you won't need any at all. So it's a good way to store them. We can only carry five without a rock bag and ten with a rock bag. So we don't get to carry a lot around. Repair hammer is essential for playing the game because we need to be able to repair our structures. We need to be able to repair anything that we build, whether we damage it ourselves or whether the cannibals damage it. So that's very, 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 very handy. We want to build some rabbit cages because if we put rabbits in there, they will breed. And breeding rabbits produces more food for us. So that's essential to keep the food stocks up particularly in parts of the forest where there is not a lot of animals around for other types of meat. We want to build as many traps as we can. Now that will allow us to capture rabbits to be able to put into rabbit cages. It allows us to capture lizards as well, squirrels, in order to get their fur and their meat. We want to always keep our food stocks up. So the traps will help us catch the food. The rabbit cages will be able to help us breed the food. And we want to be able to put it on our drying racks to keep them as full as possible. That allows us to stay fed. It allows us to explore more of the island as well. We also want to build a water collector. Now that helps us obviously to be able to drink water. If we don't have enough water, we will suffer damage and it will kill us. So we need to make sure we have that. Now again, if we stay around about the plane, we're going to be able to drink from the soda cans because they respawn every time we load the game. We want to also build a berry bag. That's good for collecting blueberries. And that's the only colour you should be collecting at the moment. We have some white berry bushes next to the plane. Best to cut them down and not collect anything from them. They can be used to make poison arrows to be able to attack the cannibals with. But the poison arrows are not particularly great and we'll come to that in later days in the guide. We want to build a rock bag as well, and that goes well with the rock holder. It allows us to collect 10 rocks at a time rather than 5. And we want to wear lizard skin as armour. It's the only armour we're going to be able to get in the early parts of the game unless we're attacked by cannibals and we end up killing them. Then we can burn the bodies and take the bones from it. But then we need to use cloth to make the armour from the bones. And cloth is a very, very precious resource at the start of the game. So best at the moment to kill the lizards and wear their skin as armour. So let's get on and look at the general survival tips for the game. Now we're going to go over these every day of the guide. So we need to look after our health. Very, very important. Make sure you go into the survival guide a lot and have a look at your stats. Make sure they're good. Make sure you're fed and your water. Don't leave your food to go too low or your water to go too low, particularly your food because it will cause your weight to drop and you don't want that to happen in the forest. 
heal yourself regularly you can either do that with meds or with health mixes which we haven't been able to create just now as we've not had the right herbs in the area but we do get meds from the plane when we load the game because they respawn each time kill animals whenever you can because we know why that is because we need the meat we need the skins and we need to dry the skins we dry the meat and that keeps us surviving gather stick stones and herbs now we don't have many herbs around about the plane just now but if we do see any if we go down to the beach or we go anywhere within the forest make sure we gather as many herbs as possible aloe can help us uh, heal any infections for example and we can use them uh, other types of herbs to create uh, health mixes and energy mixes sticks and stones sticks as i keep repeating many many times they are the most important resource in the forest so gather them whenever you can and store them in stick baskets the same with stones you tend to use stones in big quantities at one time so always try and collect them and store them build a stick bag gives 20 sticks to collect rather than 10 build a rock bag we can collect 10 stones rather than 5 collect any resources whenever we can anything we see lying about in the forest that we can use whether that be sticks and stones as i've already mentioned herbs or even alcohol um, small stones that if we're going to kill animals with we can use them anything at all that we can gather and take back to us on the plane make sure you collect them always listen very important the cannibals make noises it's rare that they're very silent they have crept up on me once or twice but it's mainly because i haven't been listening so always listen particularly when you're making a lot of noise such as cutting trees uh, down because you hear the the, the bang of the the axe on the tree that makes a lot of noise and you're less likely to hear the cannibals then when you're cutting sticks down and um, you'll hear the swishing sound so always listen out for noises like padded feet running and uh, make sure you can hear the cannibals laughing because a lot of them do that as well and the last two as i've mentioned earlier don't go hungry and don't go thirsty hunger causes your weight to drop which is not good when you're in the forest and going thirsty it will end up killing you so let's move on to day two of how to survive the first seven days in the forest. Morning everybody, it's day two, or as a survival book will show us, it's actually day one because the survival book starts at day zero. But today I want to make a stick bag, that's first thing. What we need is two rope. One rabbit skin and three cloth. That allows us to carry 20 sticks as opposed to 10, which is really, really handy. Increases our stick carrying ability by 100%. Sticks are one of the most important resources in the forest. That was a terrible miss. When you get the spear, try and use it as much as possible. The more practice you get with it, the better. We're building a rock holder here just now. Press R on it before you completely build it, and that'll give us a much bigger rock holder. But it needs more sticks, obviously. But now we have a stick bag. We can go and get lots more sticks and carry them back. Not quite got enough sticks for that. Now I want to build some traps. And the reason for that is, in order to have a steady source of food, we need to capture as many animals as possible. Now we can also build rabbit cages, so we can capture rabbits in the traps, put them in rabbit cages, and they will breed. The breeding tends to be a bit ad hoc, as you probably expected with breeding animals, but it does give us a supply of food. Plus, worst comes to the worst, we're able to eat the animals in the cage itself, rather than waiting for them to breed. So that gives us more stable source of food and allows us to fulfill quite a few of the goals including exploring the island and uh, having a safe and stable source of food. One of the problems with building traps is it takes 31 sticks. That's an awful lot of sticks. Our stick bag only holds 20, so that's two trips per trap. But once they're built, that's them there. They just keep working. We don't have to do anything else to them. Now I need some food just now, so I'm going to go and grab some dried meat. Actually, what's the point of dried meat? We've 
Yeah, the meals respawn on a plane. Let's just eat them instead. We'll keep the dried meat for later on. I haven't picked up all the items since we loaded the game. I think we filled up the cabinet as well. So you can press R to rotate the different items. I tend to do a shelf of, of each. Alcohol is really good for making Molotov cocktails and fire arrows. Can also use it to get rid of some infection. Remember when you load the game to gather all the supplies, all the resources that are on the plane itself. Let's get some of these traps built up. Lots of sticks. You'll find when you start the game, the majority of the time you spend in the first few days is gathering sticks and logs and rocks. And in our case, sticks. Oh, rabbit. A wash your heart. That was a good long range shot. That's what you want to be doing with the spear. Sometimes it's luck though. Here's some effigies the cannibals have built just to warn you that their land is beyond the effigies. This one here, when you knock it down, you get about five skills out of it. Always good for skull lamps. We'll just Stay away, it's a lizard. Go! Oh, man, that was another fantastic shot. Straight over that log. Lizard skin makes good armour. But remember, we're here at the moment to build these traps. That's what we want to get done. Lots of sticks. Almost forgot about this. Need to build that one up. Got a trap over here as well. These bushes uh, contain berries that are poisonous. The berries aren't blue. Don't eat them. But they do make poison arrows. Poison arrows are not particularly great compared to bone arrows. I just tend to leave them alone. Do bone arrows, do fire arrows, do normal arrows, and that's it. Come on to arrows when we get the bow. We're at the coast. That's where we crash landed. Cliffs there. That looks like a beach down there. As I said earlier, Lizard skin makes good armor. Get a berry bag. Two rabbit skins, that's a berry bag. And I think it holds 20 or 30 berries, which provides food and water so you won't eat them. But remember, as I said, blueberries only. When you come back to your base, always remember to empty all the rocks and sticks out. That's that case. Oh, we've caught something in the trap. Can't see it for that bush. Use a spear to kill anything in a trap. Because sometimes you will damage the trap. You'll be able to go straight through the gaps. But if you use any other weapon, you will always damage the trap. Got a lizard there. Reset the trap. Always remember to do that. I want to build a rabbit cage, as I said earlier. Because we're going to catch a lot of rabbits with these traps. So we can put them in these cages and they will hopefully breed. And as usual, we need more sticks. Oh, that trap's been caught. Oh, another lizard. There we go. You see, we hit the trap that time. No matter, we'll be able to repair it. Just need to build a repair tool. Can't reset the trap because I'm going to have sticks. Another lizard. That's an easy kill. Oh, bounced off. But we killed it anyway. If you see any animals, particularly in the first seven days, just always kill them. Our inventory's full. We cannot take that lizard. 
It's empty the inventory back in the plane. See if we can remember where that lizard is though. Right, let's head back and see if we can get it. But this way. Play. Looking familiar. There, it's there. Fantastic, we found it. I generally don't find them again. Get full sticks as well. Get any rabbits we catch in the traps, we can put in the rabbit cage. We we'll build the repair tool. It's two sticks, one rock, two cloth, and ten tree sap. Get tree sap from either a tree sap holder or cutting trees down. And we've caught something else in that trap. This is going well. Another lizard. And we damaged the trap again. So we'll be able to repair it because we've just built uh, the repair tool. There we go. Trap is all repaired. Empty the sticks out. Get stuck in the roof of the plane. Put the meat up for drying. We've put one of these racks in an awkward place. It's not always easy. Put something on it. And wear the lizard skin. Always remember that. You see the yellow bar at the side? That's going up. That's our armour. There's a, another case of mist. Watches used for making bombs. And we've caught something else in the trap. That, that rabbit. Oh, it's a rabbit. First rabbit. Brilliant. Right in the cage. There we go. He'll enjoy himself. Another lizard. We better hope uh, we like lizard meat. Because we'll get an awful lot of it to eat. There we go. Lizard, those uh, racks are nearly full. There's nothing in there. Okay. We must have... Taking the animal out of it and not reset the traps. Let's build another one. Because we're doing really well with these traps. 31 sticks again. Nearly done. Nearly full armour as well. We need food. Oh. Rabbit. They need three rabbits in a cage to breed. Three to four. Two are not enough. I know you think it is, but it's not. There's another rabbit. There's three we've got then. Need to reset that trap there. Sticks. Nope, the other ones are okay. Other traps. And we've obviously damaged that, so we've repaired it. Remember, there's food on the plane. We don't need to go into our food supplies just yet. I'm going to go for a little wander now. Make sure you've got plenty of time to get there and back wherever you go. So it's quite early in the day. Maybe about midday. Get stuck in the forest on the way back at night. You've got cannibals that like to roam around. Those big trees, you see the white tree, that is special to the cannibals. Try and stay away from them at night in particular. Don't build a base near them. Cannibals like to come along here and worship at those trees, so... It's a busy area for them. That looks... there's the yacht. So the yacht's just down the coast from us, which is good. Yacht gives us rope, uh, gives us alcohol, gives us a skull, uh, the rebreather tanks are in there, and there's some chocolate bars and soda, but there's also cloth. The yacht's really good for uh, resources, but we just need to swim over to it. And there is a shark or sharks in this area, so you need to be careful. I've come across them once or twice, never more than that. If you go back to one of my earlier videos, you'll see that, uh, yeah, you like to take a bite out of me at the end of it. 
A missing child. Milk carton. There's the alcohol. There's the rebreather tanks. There's the chocolate bars. You can actually sleep in the... Uh, oh, we get the cassette player as well. Forgot about that. You can actually sleep in the yacht, which is good if you get stranded. A mutant. So that's us gathered everything out of the yacht. Sun is starting to go down, so I think we should head back. On our way back, we'll try and gather some sticks and some rocks, any berries, any hair. Turtles. Turtle shells are what we use for water collectors. You can only carry one of them, but they also give you meat as well. No point killing lots of turtles unless you need the meat, which we do, so. But the turtle shell that you discard will just lay on the beach. Doesn't respawn when you load the game, though. Effectively lost it. Always hunt birds when you see them, because we need the feathers for arrows. You can also put them on weapons to upgrade them, make them faster, and increase their speed, the speed uh, statistic. On the way back, look out for berries, gather sticks, and gather rocks as well. You'll always find sticks lying about the ground as well. Gather them too. We're running really low on energy, and we need liquid as well to drink. Empty the sticks and rocks, as I said before, once you get back, just empty them out. Makes room for the next time you're out and about. Traps. Oh, we've caught another rabbit. No sticks to reset the trap, though. Or we've got in there. Okay. Yep, that's okay. Another case, oh, another case we missed. Chocolate bar and cloth out of that one. Now we did collect a turtle shell earlier on, so we're going to build a water collector. Now you can build water collectors inside buildings, they will still collect water. Whether that will be the case in later patches, they might fix that, because obviously it's not correct. Something wrong there if you can build water collectors inside. Another rabbit. A bit overcrowded with rabbits, surely. Five we've got in there. I'm going to start forming a union, I think. Playing about conditions. Another... Oh, this is six. Gather sticks to reset both those traps. Number one. Number two. Hello. We can't sleep just yet. I think we should build another rabbit cage as it's getting a bit overcrowded in there. We should have three to four rabbits in a cage, as I said earlier. That'll allow them to breed. I'm not sure if they will not breed if there's too many. Let's not find out. Let's just build this. Pop three of them in there. That's us got six rabbits, three of each, three in each cage. Another rabbit. That's us got seven. That and that's an oh no, it's a lizard. I thought that was another rabbit. There we go. Damage the trap. We'll just repair that. That's fine. More armor and more meat. Traps now repaired. Let's see if we can now sleep. And we can. So let's have a look over how well we've done today for our day two survival goals. We've built a stick bag. We've built a rock holder. We've crafted the repair hammer. We've built two rabbit cages. We ended up building four traps and I think that's about as many as we can manage as we're getting an, a lot of rabbits and a lot of lizards coming through there. We have been keeping the food stocks up. Every time we've been getting meat, we've been putting it on the drying rack. 
we did build a water collector. We went away down to the beach and we got a turtle shell and we brought that back and built a water collector on the plane. We built a berry bag. We didn't manage to build a rock bag. We've not really needed too many rocks. It's not been a big problem. And we have been wearing lizard skin as armour. So by the end of day two, we are on track for all of our goals. We haven't bumped into any cannibals back, but let's see what day three holds for us. If you like this guide, please click the like button below. If you like the content that I produce, please share it and subscribe to the channel. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated in the comments below and it encourages me to make more content for everybody to enjoy. And as always, enjoy the forest and be careful out there.